In that 12 passenger van in a small club in Minnesota, and the snow outside of first half. I just wanted my name in the star. Now look at where we at, still growing up, still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become. Couldn't wait to get older, couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would have gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought And felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that full time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday things would be the 
memory in uh, high school was probably just messing around on the bus after uh, baseball games, just talking, messing around, talking about baseball. My favorite memory was getting my thousand rebounds and I wasn't able to celebrate it. My favorite memory was doing the periodic table uh, project for Mr. Camp. It was shooting dice. It was me. In Grouch. It was me. You know, in the bathroom, shooting them dice, getting all that money. It was me. That's my favorite memory. Me and my friends. Including Darius and um, Omari Altimore. We would go into the gym like during lunchtime and like just mess around. Sometimes we would be <laughs> body slamming each other, uh, fake fighting each other, picking each other up and like pretending to crack each other over our backs like a video game. My favorite memory from NHS is being in Matilda junior year of high school. It's like every time that we got done with our lunch. Um, in, in middle school, we would always go into the bathroom. There'd be like ten of us. It, it's it's stupid. It's crazy, but there there'd be a lot of us, and we go in there. And it sounds strange, and it is strange. Um, but we always go in there and just beat each other up. It just be a big group of us. Just my favorite memory at MHS is helping with prom last year, my junior year, and prom crash scene. My favorite memory is moving into Manessa and finding out that there was a visual media and game design, which both meets my education. In my favorite memory at MHS is leaving whenever I wanted to without telling Sawa and Paula. It's being, being able to be with my lifelong friends every day. My favorite memory was the one chip challenge with Senor Caldwell. I'm planning 
I'm going to do any gap year and then go to school for real estate. My plans are to go to school for business. And if, if I don't go to school for business, I'll probably go to Douglas. Wait, I'm going to become a child psychiatrist. My plans on after I graduate, I haven't really decided yet, but I'm going to go to a college to do some screenwriting and try and work on some films. I'm attending West Virginia University, majoring in exercise physiology. To study nursing and get my BSN. My plans after high school is to go to Westmoreland County Community College for film editing. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper right now, though, but I'm a rapper. My plans on after high school is I'm going to make a game. If that doesn't work out, I'm just going to be a programmer for a company. Um, after I graduate, I'm going to Ohio State University to study exercise science on the pre-physical therapy track. And I'm going to become a pathologist, go to uh, WBU, and uh, go to uh, immunology program. Study in criminology at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And I am going to Penn West California, and I'm studying business management and minoring in criminology. University of Pittsburgh and studying pre-law. Uh, my plans on after I graduate are I'm going to go into a career of voice acting and if that doesn't work out then I'm probably just going to go into the acting or singing field. And my plans after high school are become an x-ray technologist.
My name is Gage Altamore. Mamori's cousin, aka his brother. How I saw Mori, I think he just liked to have fun and didn't they take things too serious. And he loved everybody unconditionally. I perceived Amori as a funny, beloved young man. There's nothing he wouldn't do for anybody. He was so caring and would do anything for his family. Amori was a very kind and caring person. He always found a way to put a smile on my face, even when I was upset or down. Amori was a mama's boy, very loving, happy, loved to joke, as everybody knows, the most caring boy with the most genuine heart, just loved everybody and treated everybody with respect and yeah. Amari didn't like when people would argue or fight or even there be intention in the room. So when Amari was around, he would always bring humor. I think Amari had a positive impact on everybody. Everybody has the bracelets. A lot of people got tattoos. You know what I'm saying? You see his stickers everywhere. People still post pictures about him. So I think he had a positive impact because he was a real person. I feel like Amari had a good impact on others around him. He always pushed people to want to do better and to do better. I feel like he always wanted the best for everybody. And whenever he came around, the smile, the room was always lit up. There was always a smile on everybody's faces. How he impacted people around here, I didn't realize how many people he actually impacted until after this happened. I had kids as young as like, eight or nine come up to me and tell me how he was their friend and he always so many people reached out to me saying when other kids wouldn't talk to them or when kids bully them Maury always stuck up for them and always you know just made everybody feel accepted and that makes me very proud of him to hear all these stories so I think he impacted so many people's lives that I don't even know about still. So. I know we had a few plans for when we got older. We wanted a food truck together and we planned on getting a house together with my brother, you know. He just wanted to be with people he loved, that's all that really mattered. Ever since Amori was little, he always said he wanted to be a chef when he got older. Him and my nephew had plans to open a food truck together. He also mentioned being an electrician too. I always told him I was going to move in with him whenever he did get a job and he said I could and he would take care of me. And that was his goals and ambitions. Some of my favorite memories about Amari go back to him when we were little and he would just sleep over all the time. Me, him, and my brother would just chill and have a good time. There's a lot of memories, but those ones I think about a lot because those were the good days, you know. My favorite story memory of Amori is when we was all at my house. It was me, Rain, my brother, Makai, and him. And we would play on my wooden patio. And this one time, he got stuck on it, trying to go around it, and it took him a certain amount of time to get off of it, and it was just so funny. Favorite memories. It's so hard to pick a favorite memory, but I think my favorite, just me and him, when we would go swimming or the sand castle, just me and him, he'd make me do everything he did. Every slide he rode, I'd have to go off the diving board and do whatever he did on the diving boards. When he was into wrestling, he'd make me wrestle and fight with him and he'd put me in moves and have me stuck. Um, 
he was my best friend and there's just so many memories I can't even begin like if I would be cleaning or anything he would come in and tell me how good I clean or anything he just always tried to make me feel good those are my favorite memories One funny story about Amari I always think about is uh, when he was over our house and my mom had just went to the store and we had a bunch of snacks and all that and I think my brother hid his snacks because those were his favorite snacks. I think they were like Pop-Tarts or something and he hid them in the cupboard somewhere in the kitchen and we were all chilling in the living room and Amari was like, I'll be right back. I got to go to the bathroom. He was gone for a minute, so like we walked back there, and he's in the kitchen in the cupboard that where we had the snacks. And he was like, "You always hide these for me." <laughs> okay, so it's super hard to pick out like just one like a funny story, but we always found it funny whenever he would do something, and I would get mad and yell at him, and he'd either say something to make fun of me or just to make me laugh, and I could never stay mad at him because he was just funny like <laughs> I mean that's all we did was laugh and no one compares that's all it's been a long day without you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Who knew all the planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place uh, How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. From where we began you know, we started. Oh,